welcome back to another video today is thursday there is not much going on today it's been a regular schmegular kind of day work was busy but got a lot done so there's that of course it's six o'clock now and it feels it feels later than what it is but that's okay got these eyebrows did i am pleased so that's always a good thing so i wanted to start off this video by giving my two cents about a certain topic and i'm trying to choose my words carefully here because i want i want to be clear about my meaning but i'm going to be talking about black owned businesses and why describing yourself as a black owned business isn't enough like that's not all you need to do to be successful why am i talking about this today well i had an experience i went to a shop i've passed by it so many times i've lost count i passed by it on the way to another thing that i go to and i decided to stop in today and give them a try recently they put up a sign saying that they're a black owned business um which kind of tipped it like um they sell funnel cakes this is a regular funnel cake and lemonade so i love funnel cakes i love lemonade i saw that sign saying they're a black owned business i was like all right that's one two three reasons to go so today i decided to give it a try i walk up i ring the bell they have signs multiple signs that say ring the bell for service i ring the bell i didn't count how like how long i was standing there but i was standing there way too long um for one thing but whatever that part i wasn't even tripping on you know young lady comes out she takes my order i pay her there's no receipt there's no offer of a receipt but again at this point i'm still not tripping we're coming to the part that i'm tripping on i order an original funnel cake and a mango lemonade i order the mango lemonade with no ice in it if you hang out with me in real life you know i always order drinks with no ice in them like i'm i don't feel the need to pay for a cup of ice that's just it so she asked me if i want the lemonade first or if i wait for the lemonade and the funnel cake to come out at the same time that was a plus and i said oh they can just come out at the same time you know i wasn't in no rush so i'm chilling she comes out with the funnel cake and the lemonade and she says well the manager says that we can't give you a lemonade with no ice in it we have to put ice in the cup okie doke like first of all that's nonsense <laughs> and second I ordered it with no ice so if you couldn't give me the thing the way I ordered it I should have been told I should have been offered an alternative item or I should have been asked if I just wanted my money back for that particular item so I'm leaving and I'm like you know what I finally decided to give them a try and they telling me that they can't give me a lemonade with no ice in it Hold on. I had the TV going in the background and you can't see the TV and I don't know how much you can hear, but I know YouTube be tripping about stuff like that. And I don't want to get to a point where I finally get my channel monetized and I got videos being copyrighted because something playing in the background. Um, it was the office just in case y'all was wondering but anyway I'm leaving I'm like what so I have to have ice in the cup okay and I was like you know it's I'm not gonna say I'll never go back there but it's highly unlikely that I would go back there and when I'm driving home I'm just like you know what this black owned business thing, I support it. I do. 
one day soon i will be a black business owner that's coming down the road but i'm like that's not enough I'm like saying that you are a black owned business that will get me in the door but what will keep me coming back is your service your quality of products that's what's going to keep me coming back and when you got people coming to your business i'm buying lemonade from you and you telling me you can't give it to me with no ice in it like like is it <laughs> nickel and diamond folks like you have to give me ice like you can't fill this cup up with lemonade get real and this made me think about there's another place close to me the food is delicious i've actually met the owner he's a very nice man I haven't been there in a while. Like I've been there a few times. The last time I went was a while ago because I get there and I get up to the counter to order and the young man who's, who's working at the counter, he's taking orders, he answers the phone and he's having a long-winded personal conversation with who is ever on the phone. And I don't mean 10, 15, 36, I mean, minutes he was on the phone yakking it up he was laughing and hooting and hollering and the whole thing and i was just like is he is he at work right now like does he not realize that he's at work first of all he's at work and second i'm standing there waiting to order so i'm sitting there and i'm waiting and this is the part where you might say well dominique why did you stand there and wait first of all i was on my lunch break and it's like by the time i get in the car and go find somewhere else with a short line my break's gonna be over and it's like i don't like like i have an hour break i don't like taking the whole hour to wait in line somewhere like i actually want to eat on my break you know but beyond that i'm like again it's a black owned business i've met the owner he's a very nice man he wasn't there that day but I'm standing there and this guy is just yakking it up, yakking it up, yakking it up, going on and on and on. And finally, he asks the person on the phone if they want to order something. He take day order. He finally hangs up the phone. And then like a minute or so after that, he asks me what I wanted. And I'm just standing there I'm like, and I haven't been back there since. It's like, this is the type of thing. This, I love black owned businesses. I support black owned businesses whenever possible but what y'all need to understand is this folks ain't gonna pay you for nonsense i'm not gonna come in there and give you my money and you give me subpar service and you give me subpar products and you think oh we black on let's support each other honey you want me to support you with my money why don't you support me with some good service how about that if we we sticking together we we you know we're united that that fly when it come to me giving you my money but when it come to you treating me with professionalism then none of that applies anymore it's like enough with the foolishness it's like i don't know who needs to hear this but you need to get it together you can't come here half stepping trying to compete with these other companies that are established that have their stuff together and i'm not talking about these other companies that aren't aren't doing i'm talking about companies that customer service is phenomenal every time you walk in there you, you people greet you when you walk in they take your order right if they don't have something you ask for they tell you and don't catch an attitude about it and you're trying to compete with these types of establishments and you think the advertising that you're a black owned business is enough no i'll repeat it again being a black owned business will get me in the door but what will keep me coming back is service and quality of products if you don't have what i'm trying to buy i'm not gonna come there and just throw money at you if i got people your employees are ignoring me when I come in the door. They being rude to me. They talking crap to me. They they throw the food at me when they bring it out. Ain't nobody gonna keep coming back. It's just a no. And why we on these black owned businesses? Y'all love following us around the store. When I go to black owned clothing stores, 
I get followed around the store just as much as I do at the white clothing store. It's like, what, what is going on? I, make that make sense. But anyway, rant over about that. On to the next portion of the video. So, some other stuff I got going on. I did get two more items to help with YouTube stuff. One is this car mount. I will link it down below. I know a few other YouTubers use this. I've been trying to have car chats, but like I thought I found a spot in one of my previous videos I mentioned that I found a good spot to sit the camera. Well, I thought so. One day I sat the camera in that spot and I was driving and I hit a turn and the camera fell and my, the screen was up screen was up the camera fell hit the seat hit the floor and I was like <gasps> when I got to the stoplight I reached over to pick it up and I was like god I hope it ain't broken this camera I have a G7X Mark II I got it for $500 and I was like if this camera broke I'm gonna have to buy I'm gonna have to cough up another $500 right now and I really don't want to the camera didn't break but I was like no 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 more car chats till we get a, a car mount. So, got the car mount. Y'all probably see me put this up later on in the video. Depends on how I feel. The other thing I got was a blue snowball ice USB mic. Woo! This is for voiceovers and other things. Um, I have a MacBook Pro, so this is gonna work great with that. Some of the videos I have to do, I have to do voiceovers, and I can I connect my MacBook to a screen, mouse, and keyboard when I'm editing. But when it's time to add voiceovers, um, you need to have the computer open in order to get the best sound when you're recording from the built-in mic. Um, I like to have the screen closed and just work on the big monitor. So I got this so that when I'm recording my voiceovers, you know, I get that sound quality without having to have um, the actual laptop all in the way. So I'm going to set this up later on this week, probably tomorrow or this weekend sometime. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat this funnel cake. just lemonade and <laughs> and that's gonna be that to the next clip hello happy friday um nothing much going on today i had work uh, work from home day but you know work is work so that's that just got up um delivery from amazon it's always interesting whether or not i'm gonna get something on time or if it's gonna get delivered to the right place but it can then we got puppy food which is awesome because Alaria ate her last bit of food this morning so if this didn't get here on time it's gonna be it's gonna be short we're gonna have to figure something out um the other thing I got was this it is a devotional named Unshakable 365 Devotions for Finding Unwavering Strength in God's Word. Um, another YouTuber I watch, Taja Perju, she lives in Atlanta, she's a dental hygienist. She's younger than me, um, but I watch her because she, you know, I, I, I like her personality. Um, and I think I found her through moving vlogs when she was moving from North Carolina to Atlanta. I think that's, that's how I stumbled on her channel. Um, and I've been following her ever since. But she was talking about, so she does her morning devotionals and this was the one she was using. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get it. Cause I've been looking at devotionals, but I'm like, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole of researching it. Like I'm tired of having to research everything. It's like analysis paralysis. There are so many choices 
that you can just you can just spend weeks and months researching every little purchase and I'm like I just want to get started I want to read something um, and get started reading something so I saw in one of her vlogs she was reading this one and I was like you know what? I'm just go ahead and get that one and if I don't like it then I don't like it but at least I won't spend a whole bunch of time trying to figure it out so if you hear that little ding somebody just went live on Facebook that very soon so yeah that's the plan basically i need to get my life together if i look tired sound tired it's because i am i'm exhausted i really just want to go in the room and take a nap uh. <laughs> hello happy saturday so today's been a good day i had lunch out today um and that was a very pleasant experience um after lunch i wandered around the mall and I was mainly looking for a Father's Day gift because you know that's coming up. Um, or at least inspiration for a Father's Day gift. I didn't see anything. I don't know. My dad is not the type that I can just go to the mall and just buy him something. Um, so I walked around, I didn't see anything. But I did wander into Forever 21. Um, I picked up a few items. One of the things I got, um, these pair of shades. Now, I don't consider these to be quote unquote real shades, um, just because they don't protect your eyes very much. And even on the Forever 21 packaging, it says these are not good for driving. I just got these because on my pair of real shades, one of the nose things came off and I need to replace it. But I don't know where to go to buy replacement nose rest I guess CVS maybe hopefully I guess I can order on Amazon but I'm sick of Amazon um, I'm sick of Amazon delivery drivers but that's a different story so I got these I actually wore these on the way home fabulous got those and then I got this yellow pair of sunglasses and again these are even lighter than the other ones but you'll see in a second why I got the yellow ones. And then I got these little hoops. Three sizes of not perfectly circular hoops. They were only $5.99. Super cute. I'm just a little something. This something something. Not me too crazy. But <laughs> I saw these and I had to have them. These. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I saw these and I saw them in the yellow color first and I was like, those are so cute. Um, if you've seen the look, the UGG ones, the UGG ones, um, the UGG ones have more bands and they're thicker and they're, they're, the UGG ones are definitely better. But I'm not going to pay UGG prices for this kind of a shoe. This is just a little cute, little, you know, trendy in the moment type of a shoe. So I'm not going to pay UGG prices for this but I will pay the $9.99 that Forever 21 charges. So got them in yellow and then I also got them in a more neutral color. This is like a beige, um, a off-white cream beige kind of a color which will go with more stuff. So again these were $9.99 a pair. Just something really cute to throw on. So let me show y'all what these look like. They are in the mirror so y'all can see what they look like. They're cute. So I got them in the size medium. It's good, I'm glad I've tried them on because I almost went for the large. And as you can see, the dog's very fond of the fur. So that's those.
Okay, so Peloton ride is done for today. I did a 20 minute ride with uh, Cody Rigsby. This is my first time riding with him. He's fun, so I'm gonna try some more classes with him. Um, but I'm gonna take a little break right now. I might do another ride before um, I start winding down and getting ready for bed. We'll just see how I feel. Um, but yeah, that was good. Like I said in my Peloton video, I am so happy I have this bike in my house. It's so convenient. Just come home, change my clothes, jump on the bike. So convenient. So today has been a full productive day. So we're gonna go ahead and close it out by doing a little face wash. So nothing spectacular. These are my products. I got the foaming cleanser and deep clean invigorating scrub. I alternate between those two. I got my alcohol free toner. I got my face mask, um, makeup wipes, and some cotton balls. So nothing too fancy. Um, so let's get into it. For my face wash routine, I switch between the foaming cleanser and foaming scrub. Tonight, I'm going with the foaming scrub. You may wonder why I'm filming this face wash segment in the kitchen. Reason number one, the lighting in my bathroom sucks. Reason number two, there isn't a good spot in there to sit the camera. So, we're in the kitchen. The camera angles suck for this portion of the video. Bear with me. After washing my face, I rinse, dry it until it's damp, and then use the toner. Then I wet my face a little more to apply the face mask. Go ahead and rub it in. The directions say to let the mask sit for five to seven minutes. I always go with seven minutes.
After washing the mask off, I leave my face slightly damp and apply the toner again. So yes, I use toner twice. Once after I wash and again after I rinse off the face mask. If I don't do a face mask, then it'll be just once. I do moisturize at the end, just didn't get that part on camera. 